Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 22nd session of rock and roll jazz and rock and roll horns. Um, you know, the last session we talked a lot about how to voice with three notes for three part when you have a large, you know, chord that's a ninth or plus 11. Um, <clears throat> so what I want to get into in the next couple of sessions is polychords, which then kind of lends itself to alternating triads. Um, an alternating triad is like if you have, you know, a C7 chord, there's C7, and you can do this. So what you're doing is um, C major, D major, C major, D major over the C dominant chord is when you play your D major, all of a sudden you have, you meet, there's your 13, your 9, your plus 11 over a triad. And the beauty of using alternating triads with vocals, which I love it for that, and for, for any instrument group really, is it's triads. And so it's a nice closed voicing. When you have the band play a C dominant chord, and then who you're voicing for is playing a D major chord on top, there's a D major chord, right? Okay, put that C7 underneath. All of it sounds like you're, you're playing something, you know, wow, jazzy wazzy, you know? And it's beautiful for vocals because it's really easy to tune up that triad. And for any group, it's easy to, the, tuning up your triad is really nice. And um, so that's a great way um, to imply more, a bigger voicing with three notes and also get a bigger sound, right? With that. Um, so let's talk about alternating triads. Um, <clears throat> let's start with the one chord. Your one, don't forget your chord family one, your one, uh, one chord is a one in major. So it's all, let's, let's go back to our favorite key, C. <laughs> um, treble clap, bass clap, okay. So, <clears throat> Um, if we do, here's C, um, shoot, how do I explain it? Anyway, so here's our tonic, here's our notes, here's a C major seventh chord, C, B, and if we move on up to D, to F, and then A, now, when we, don't forget chord family one also includes the plus 11, so... Here's your C major chord. Okay, here it was the plus 11. That's where you get this noise. You know, right there. You hear that all the time as opposed to... So, the, the one chord also has the sharp 11 right there, instead of just a regular 4. So what that gives us is now... Here's our alternating triads. C, D with the F sharp. So you have a C major chord and a D major chord, all working over C major seventh, okay? It's a one chord. You can call it a C major nine, you can call it a C, you know, pl uh, major plus 11, but basically it always functions as a one chord. Two, five, one. You hear that all the time. You hear that all the time. Um, so that's really nice for um, three-part writing. And so this would could you could alternate. You could play. So let's say you had a voicing like this. Let's say you had a voicing like this. Here's your notes. Um, so let's say they start on G. A, B. Okay, so we could go C here, and this and our chord would be C major seventh. Here's our D. Here's our top end of our. It's an E minor triad, but it's really the top end of a C major seventh chord, right? 
and then here we could go to here again which is F sharp okay um, yeah so this is what that sounds like see okay that's what that sounds like so that would be really good. So that's for our chord family one, our one chord in major, okay? So the other, another alternating triad would be over a two chord, okay? So if our two chord in the key of C is D minor, let's dry this off a little bit. D minor, okay, let's do it down here, okay, um, so our alternating chord over D minor um, is F and G, okay, it's over the three, it's over the three and the four, four could be 11 too, right, so, um, so D is a root, so your three in the D minor, your the, the third degree of D minor is F, right? So you build a major triad off F, okay? The fourth degree up from D minor, D, E, G, okay, is right there. So your chords are F and G over D minor. Your scale would be a Dorian, right? Okay, um, so that would be... Okay, there it is. There's a D minor seventh. So you could voice, so let's say you had three horns. We're gonna play this line with three horns. Okay. So your first one would be F. This is bass clef. So here's an A. Okay. G, I'm sorry, that would be a D. I am known to make mistakes, and I'm sure that sometimes I get emails from people, uh, wouldn't that note be a, and I love it, actually, um, but I'm known to make mistakes, I make little goose ups, and a lot of times I see it after, and I go, oh, dang, um, oh, there's the egg timer. <laughs> um, so I know I make little mistakes here and there, you know, it's, I'm always trying to think ahead. So. Let's do our alternating triads over the third and fourth degree of D minor over an F and a G. So here's our F, here's our G, here's our F, and here's our G. Okay, and there they are. So that would sound like this. Okay, and that's over the two chord, okay? Notice D minor is in the key of C, right? This is the fourth and fifth degree of C, and we'll get into that a little later. It's a little confusing, but I want to get more into this uh, alternating triads, and this is also, this G is a polychord. If you play your D minor chord and you put this G on top, okay, that's a really nice, nice sound. That's your polychord for, so it would look like this, straight line, G. But a lot of times I grab, when I'm improvising, I grab a lot of That kind of stuff. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, shoot me an email. Love hearing from everybody. Uh, love to know where everybody's from. It's exciting for me. And uh, we'll move on. We'll get more into alternating triads. We'll cover all the other chord families and get into the polychords. And that's really a lot of fun for voicing for your horns or voices is nice with it too. So thanks for stopping by. Shoot me an email. There it is. Fred at fredsticklymusic.com. I love hearing from you. Thanks for stopping by. We'll talk to you later. Bye.